and today I have you a new video and this video is going to be a products I've used up video and I haven't done one of these videos yet because I'm just like been accumulating stuff that I've used up because that's what you need for one of these videos. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today and I figured I have accumulated enough products to do one of these videos. In these videos I'm going to be talking about these products you know, maybe why I bought them or if I am going to repurchase them again. I thought about it and maybe whether or not you should purchase it too. So, I'm also going to be doing that and then I'm also going to be like doing a few updates in this video just because why not. Um, I have some things to update you guys on and I don't want to make a whole update video that's going to be like one minute long. So, I'm just going to take a little bit of time out of this to explain that to you guys. So, my first update is you may have noticed or noticed that I haven't been wearing makeup in like a month. I haven't worn makeup in a month. Not because I'm not making makeup videos anymore. It's simply because like my skin has been like whacking out basically. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, I'm still trying to find a good moisturizer. Like, trying to get like my acne under control. And like, honestly, I'm just really lazy to like when it comes to skincare but like anything else I'm like get her done kind of person but when it comes to skincare it's just like ugh I don't know why I really don't know um so um I'm not afraid to like come on here with a no makeup face cause I've done it for the past like 3 or 4 videos yeah so I'm like trying to figure out I think I want to go to a dermatologist but I'm just trying to figure out like when to go, I guess, I don't know. I really should go, and I'm probably going to end up going because I need to figure out a plan so I can start wearing makeup again because I'm not, like, afraid to wear makeup, but I don't want to right now. I, just, so I know, like, what's going on with my skin. I don't want to, like, be putting stuff on it, if that makes sense. So, yeah, so that's why you've been seeing, like, a few, like, quite a few non-makeup videos lately. Um, I just gotta figure out when I'm going, and just, is this something I want to do? I need to figure out a skincare plan that, like, requires no work, but will, like, fix my dry skin and, like, acne and all this stuff. So, I just need to figure stuff. So, that's why I haven't been doing makeup videos. If that makes sense? I feel like I'm just repeating myself now. So, that is that, and I recently, if you follow me on Instagram, I recently got the Alex. And I enjoy it from Ikea. Thanks to my friend Alex for picking it up for me at Ikea. Um, I live really far from an Ikea. But I've really been wanting this for like a really long time. And she picked it up for me. And I just want to thank her for that. I bought it myself. And no, nobody bought it for me, okay? I like earned the money myself. And like that's what I wanted to like treat myself with. So that's what I got. And she picked it up for me. And I just want to give it a big... Shout out and thank you to her for picking it up for me and she, they even assembled it for me and everything and I'll post a picture of it right here or something. I just love it so much and I'm just getting like all my makeup stored away so yes there will be a makeup collection storage video I was going to say soon but not really because then I figured, then I remembered that I need to get a vanity and yeah. I have a lot of work to do and I just need to like update you guys on my life for a second just because like I want to know like what's going on like my skin and like makeup and all this stuff but it's so like as soon as I get myself figured out everything will be back to new but for now we're going to be improvising on videos and not doing makeup tutorials because again I don't want to be like not like damaging my skin but like I'm rambling let's get on to the video I'm going to be doing products I use up and we're just going to go ahead and get right on into the product. So the first thing that is in this bag are these simple sensitive skin experts facial cleansing wipes kind to skin. And simple skincare work was actually awesome enough to like send me some of these. And honestly I just have like a whole like multitude of simple wipes because they are like the only makeup wipes that I like that I choose to use like I will not use any other ones unless I run out and like 
I have to dig into my spare stash, but honestly, like, these are the only ones that I, like, you know, choose to use, and I will pretty much not use any other one, because they're literally perfect for my skin, and so, yeah, I have so many of these in here. I'm not even going to show you guys all of them, but, yeah, so they were awesome enough to send me some of these, and a few, like, most of these, though, I purchased myself, but... Just wanted to show you guys that, and you guys know that these are a regular purchase. I mean, that's just a given. I don't think that'll ever change. The next product in the bag, or the next product that I use up, is this Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Soothing Facial Toner. Toner, and again, I love this product. So far, like, those are the only two things that, like, my skin actually likes. is the makeup wipes and the toner. Other than that, I haven't found anything that my skin likes. So again, that's why I'm probably going to end up going to a dermatologist. But yeah, I love this stuff. This will always be a repurchase. But for some reason, I'm having a hard time, like, finding this around me lately. So I hope they're not discontinuing it, but... Let's hope not. But there's always drugstore.com, so... Yeah, but you guys... Again, you know that this will be a repurchase. And I don't know why I keep going like this. Okay, so this next product is really unique, and it is the e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. So, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody who, like, has this in a product that I've, they've used up video, but I have, and basically the only way that you can reuse this is you, uh, that you can use this up is if, like, there's no more gel left, and eventually there will be no more. And in my case, there is no more, but it's honestly so easy to repurchase. It's only a dollar. And you can find this pretty much anywhere. Well, not anywhere, but like Target, um, Walmart, Meyer. Um, I don't know if Ulta carries Elf, but if they do, Ulta, uh, Drugstore.com, Elf.com, ShopMissA.com. I could keep going on. But you can find this pretty much anywhere. Keeping that brown game on point, you know. Next product that is in this bag is. Um, okay, so, before I go on, um, just to, like, tell you guys how, like, long I've been collecting this stuff, this is from Christmas, 11 months ago, and, honestly, it takes a long time to use up makeup stuff. Like, a long time, and, like, you know, so, hey, you know, um, I got this from my friend last year, um, I'm gonna say last year because it's almost Christmas, which is hard to believe. Whoa, oh, that's a whole other subject. This is from my best friend, Devin. And we got each other Christmas gifts last year. And um, one of the things that she got me was this Snowed In The Balm Collection. The Bath Collection. Snowed In Raspberry Icicles Shower Gel. And honestly, like, even though this isn't, like, name brand, this is such a nice, a nice, a nice shower gel. Like, I honestly loved using it. And it, like, smelled so good and it was like really good to my skin and it's obviously not something that you can just repurchase so kind of bummed but I absolutely love it and I don't remember when I got it but I should have included it in a favorites video because of that's how much I loved it. The next product uh, that I used up is the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation and honestly it looks like there's a ton in here but if you like turn it around it's like all gone and it's just like sticks to the bottom, so there isn't any left, and I just keep trying to uh, pump it and pump it and pump it out, but nothing comes out, it is dry to the bone, and there is nothing left, and I used the whole dang thing. Honestly, I don't see myself repurchasing this at the moment, at least, because I have fallen in love with my Revlon Color Safe Foundation, literally the best one I've ever tried, and I've tried like four or five foundation so far and that is like the best one and I honestly don't ever see myself using another one other than the Revlon color stay. Now that I look back this was a really crappy foundation. It hardly had any coverage. Um well it probably did but not compared to the Revlon color stay. Um it just like the Revlon color stay is so much better than this and I honestly wouldn't recommend it to too many people. I honestly Find it more like a BB cream instead of a foundation, but I mean it's not the worst foundation I've ever tried. And 
Honestly, I don't even know if this review was helpful. So again, it doesn't look like I used any of it, but I prom promise you I did. And this is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nail Polish. And I used this whole thing. It looks like there's a whole crap lot left. And there's not. And I don't know if anyone's ever used up a nail polish color, but I love this nail polish color. The color Peach Beach. And honestly, I think it's a summer shade. So I don't think I can repurchase it. I get it online, which is kind of a bummer. But honestly, I don't see myself wearing this until summer anyway, so I'm not going to be repurchasing it anytime soon. So that's it for today's video. I hope, you guys in I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know what products you have used up recently. Um, Yeah, so again, I'm sorry some of these products are like really old, but it takes, up, it like takes a long time to use up a makeup product. And also, I hope you guys enjoyed my little updates, Um, if you get where I'm coming from, and understand like everything that's been going on so yeah but my battery is dying so leave any requests in the description that you have for video requests for thanksgiving i'll talk to you guys later i love you and i'll see you next time bye